Let's all play What's My Line? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to What's My Line. My goodness, Melba. I am awed. <laughs> I wondered if I was being followed. Dana, listen. Is Brunswick Records uh, connected in any way with the bowling alley people? No. No? Who no. asked you? <laughs> Your name, Dana? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know why? I thought you were talking to me because uh, Nat Tarnapol, who's the president, is my very dear friend. I thought you were talking They're to not connected in any no. way? No. That's interesting. Welcome to What's My Line, everybody. <laughs> During the next 30 minutes, you'll meet some interesting people engaged in occupations, which we hope will baffle our panel. In addition, the panel will face a celebrity mystery guest a bit later on. But right now, let's meet our first challenger. Would you enter and sign in, please? Mr. Wade, where are you from? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Oh. Panel, Lee Wade was one of the first men in the world to do something. We will now show the audience what it was that he did. And we'll start the questioning I didn't. with Donna Valeri. Huh? Shall we start the questioning oh. with Donna Valeri? Should All right. we start? No, I didn't look, I swear. Um, <laughs> they've confused me. No, sir, um, you're, you're from Washington, D.C., right? Correct. The first gentleman to know who Spiro Agnew was. Not no. correct. <laughs> no. That was Mr. Agnew's father. Gene? <laughs> You stayed honest your whole life? Yes. <laughs> well, you're the first man in Washington to do that. <laughs> um, is this something you've done as a... Is this something that you did publicly rather than privately? Yes. Um, is this something uh, that made people feel better? I mean, was it in any way health-giving what you did? Did you discover some new bacteria? No, not really. No. Not in any sense. Okay, Melba, two down, eight to go. Um, was the, the uh, feat you accomplished at all connected with government service? Yes. It was. It was in the broadest possible sense, Melba. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> did you have to use any special equipment to accomplish what you did? Yes, I would yes. say he did. Yes. Uh, was this equipment something that you could carry in your hand? No. Not really, no. Three down and seven to go, Soupy. Well, Mr. Wade might have been the first man in Washington to do this, but I was the first man in the studio to see what he did, <laughs> and I disqualified myself because I happened to see it. It was uh, when they were turning the things around, I happened to catch it. I watch everything, so I disqualify myself. All right, terrific. Thank you, Soupy. And back to Donna. Um... Am I right in assuming that the fact that you come from Washington, D.C. has nothing to do with whatever it is that you did? Yes, you are yes. correct in I'm assuming correct that. correct in assuming yes, that. Yes, you are. Was it beneficial to the public, what it, what it is that you've done or did? I would say. I it would was say beneficial, you. Donna, but again, only in the broadest possible sense, and finding out what the beneficence was won't help. Um, was it anything to do with people? Not really. No. Not really. Not really. Four down and six to go, Gene. Was this done in the last year? No. Not in the last year. Five down and five to go, Melba. Not in the last year. Um, what you did... Well, what about the equipment? Uh, you said you couldn't hold it in your hand. Um, does this equipment have moving parts? Yes. Hmm. Um, is you want to just make a guess, a wild guess? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
<clears throat> all right, I'll tell you, we're going to throw them all over. Major oh, General God. Lee Wade <laughs> is the only surviving pilot of the 1924 Army Air Corps Round the World Flight, which was the first circumnavigation of the globe by air. Wow. <laughs> Today, an astronaut circles the Earth in about 90 minutes. General Wade, how long did your flight take? 175 days. <laughs> <laughs> what, what type of plane did you... <laughs> You what? see, that's, what, that's what's wrong today. Those flights, you pay five or six hundred dollars, and you're for, in New York to London, what, in five hours. The first airline that comes up with a flight that takes like three weeks, gonna have it made. <laughs> uh, General, what type of plane did you fly then? It was known as the Douglas World Cruiser. Do you by any chance have a model of it that we yes, could see? Yes, we happen to have a model of it here. It's a scale model. Let's just put it up here so oh, we get a good shot. Of it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Flew around the world in that. How many planes took part in this uh, trip? Four started and three credited with the finishing. All right, General Wade has brought with him some film of the actual flight. Oh. So let's watch that film now, and the General will tell us about it as we do. Okay, could we roll the film? Now, where is this, General? That was up in Alaska. The airplane was being towed to its mooring. That's on pontoons. That's there. on pontoons there on the water. There we are in formation en route across the Pacific. Then into Shanghai, China. That, they seem glad to see you. Oh, those sampans were out in great numbers. That's Shanghai Harbor, the river. And we jump quickly to Turkey, to Constantinople. Now you have wheels on the plane. Now we have wheels. We put the wheels on at Calcutta, India. Then we arrive in Paris on Bastille Day. And that's formation again? That's the formation again. That's one of the airplanes. That's at the same airport that uh, Colonel Lindbergh landed, Le Bourget. Then on across the North Atlantic, and that shows how we were doing our own work. And that's at Bruff on the Humber in England, the pontoons that were put on there for the North Atlantic flight to Boston, Massachusetts, then into New York. And that's flying over the city of New York, then across the continent onto Seattle, Washington, where they made the terminal landing of the flight. That's number two, the Chicago landing. Which one are you there? Is that one? The one on the right. I was smoking then, but not now. <laughs> General, that's probably one of the reasons we're still with us. Thank you for being with us.